Hello, it's Scott Manley here and I'm in Paris right now. I'm uh, here because I'm coming to Asteroid Day in Luxembourg to talk about, you know, the, the, the awareness of asteroids and all that. So unfortunately that meant that I had to be on a plane during the STP launch, STP-2 launch. And it seems that I missed quite an amazing launch. Uh, looking at the video, it is for obviously it was the first night launch of a Falcon Heavy. And Falcon launches are spectacular, like the way when the boosters flip around and the second stage continue to fire, the interaction between the exhausts looks like nothing else. So uh, according to the customer, all the spacecraft have been delivered to the orbit as planned, and that's great because we've got a bunch of interesting satellites there that are gonna be testing new technologies. We have the green propellant experiment, we have light sail two, and of course there's the deep space atomic clock all of which will likely ultimately find their way into future missions at some point. As for the, uh, you know, the view on the ground or whatever, the side boosters once again were recovered. They were reused from the previous Arabsat mission. The center core was new because they lost that one after landing it successfully at sea, but the center booster went a long way. It went like 1260 kilometers down range and that was further than the previous Arabsat because they needed that extra range so that they uh, were, were basically they needed to get all the performance from that core rocket to make sure that they were able to perform the mission with the multiple burns. And that meant that it came in 20% faster than Arabsat and it looks, well the landing footage well, it isn't landing footage, but it is pretty darn spectacular because you can see it coming down in the dark and the rocket exhaust is actually interacting with the top of the barge. So it was on target at that point and then it changes course. It just disappears off and crashes out of view. It looks pretty amazing. According to Elon, what happened was the uh, during re-entry, it heated up too much and it damaged the thrust vector control on the center engine. So what probably happened is during the initial braking, they had all three engines burning to slow down quickly. And as soon as those two engines on the side cut out to get the finer controlled performance for the landing, then they were relying on the thrust vector control of the core stage and that was not reliable enough. So the thing either was forced by the broken vectoring control or it did its best to make a diversion out. And it was a really dramatic diversion. You just see it spin and flip and go out and disappear out of range. But other than that, I mean, it's a very successful launch. Oh, and they actually caught one of the fairings half in their uh, pursuit ship. It caught it in the net. They recently renamed Mr. Stevens to Ms. Tree. And I think that seems to have done it the world of good. I mean, it's obviously, it's got a better name now than Mr. Stevens. <laughs> anyway, uh, elsewhere, Elon has confirmed that there was some damage to a Raptor on a test stand due to the oxygen stators coming unhooked in the turbo pump. Stators or statters, I'm not sure how most people say them. Sorry, itchy nose here. These are like the non-moving parts of spinny things. So you'll have those in generators and in turbines. They're just basically a bunch of vanes that deflect the flow before they actually hit the spinning blades. Uh, so the anyway, that came unhooked. So there's another test engine coming out. The point is that uh, the Raptor engines they're going to use for the Starhopper are currently in flux uh, because the ones they intended are sort of broken. Uh, that being said, I think there are have been Raptor sightings at various locations, so we're going to see something happen with this soon. Yeah, that's all been a very interesting day, so look for me uh, at Asteroid Day, it'll be on Twitch. I will probably be hosting it on my channel as well, and I'll be talking with astronomers, astronauts, and uh, other people that like to talk about asteroids and the threat they pose to human life. I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.